Why do I have a band-aid in here and a loose needle? That's really not good, Becca. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Becca and this is my vlog slash craft slash life channel and we do fun stuff over here. We are in the middle of a series, a many part series, where I take you through my process of organizing my craft stuff once and for all because up to this point, I have never had a system for my craft things, which is shocking because I am a craft queen. I love craft supplies, I love crafting in general, but it has been a huge point of stress for me, especially since moving to this house because I have more space, so I think that I've acquired more stuff and I just have no systems in place. So I started last week by buying one of these rolling carts from Michaels. And as you can see, I bought another one as I had mentioned at the end of the video. Also since then, I have a ton of blankets and sheet sets and just, oh my word. My house doesn't have a linen closet and it really shows it's the worst. So I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do with like all of that stress. Like, I just don't know. <laughs> But we're starting with craft supplies and then I will figure out the extra bed linens and things like that. So I have this cart. Um, I got the cart with the deeper shelves this time because I wanted to be able to put things like macrame cord in it and maybe my Cricut stuff, just in general, things that are a little bit taller so this has five shelves or five drawers instead of ten so I can't have like a bunch of different compartments for a bunch of different things so now I just need to really hone in on like what I have a lot of and put them in these bins I've already put stuff in these bins a little bit because I just was cleaning up in general and I wanted things to be put away so I put my macrame cord and this like hand quilting string in here which I do like the idea of having like a string bin, but I also have lots of yarn. And so like, I don't know how I want to organize my yarn, if that will be its own drawer, if maybe I will figure out a different solution for my yarn. But I also have like my wool roving, which I feel could go in here. And then at the very bottom, I'm not gonna pull, my, pull down my camera cause you'll see it eventually, but I have a paint drawer. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move my fine art drawer to be in here, so that, like one of these bigger ones, so that I can have just like a bigger space for my paint and paint brushes and all of that because I won't be able to fit all of that into these like skinny drawers. So I know for sure that I want my Cricut stuff to go in here because it's just like currently in a box. So we're gonna start by pulling out my Cricut stuff. I think that my Cricut Joy is gonna be too heavy for these bins which stinks but that's okay because it already has a case so I could just like set it on top like it doesn't need to go in the drawer but I have a box of stuff from when I actually worked with Cricut on a video which is actually crazy I'm like totally fangirling that I did that once upon a time but I have a bunch of stuff from them that I've been slowly using um, but I don't do Cricut crafts all that often. But anyway, I have some grip mats, which I don't necessarily want to bend. So maybe I'll just put them like this, like up as a divider. Oh no, then they'll be too tall. I think it'd be okay if they have a little light curve on them. Um, I've got these, which like, I don't know. Hold on. We're going to put that at the bottom. This is the card making one with the cards. I've used a few of those. And then I mostly just have like vinyl. This will definitely all fit in here, which like, thank God, I was kind of worried that it wouldn't, but the transfer tape is just the best. And I've got just like a ton of different colors of vinyl. My mom and I had such a blast working on this, like working with my Cricut when she was visiting. My mom is a like long time Cricut owner. <laughs> She has like one of the original crickets when you have to, when you used to have to have um, the cartridges and stuff. Super funny. Oh, I'm gonna need this coming up, this floral tape. I'm glad that I found this because I definitely would have repurchased that if I didn't know that that was in there. I exclusively use this paper for Cricut stuff. So I'm just gonna stick that in there. This is a piece of sample vinyl. I'll just slide it in, I guess, put it right there. And then these grip mats, pose can just sit like this. Yeah, 
There we go. Perfect. Cricut, all done. And then my Cricut machine can just rest up here. Okay, next category. Oh, I guess I can work on the fine art bin because, yeah, I just threw a bunch of stuff in here. I think I'll put the paint in first. These are too tall to be standing up. This is a picnic basket that I thrifted a while ago and it quickly turned into craft storage because it really is kind of like the perfect thing for it. Like it's just a great size. It fits like alongside my couch against the wall really well. So it just turned into that. <laughs> This is a Kindle cover that I made that I ended up really hating. Like the flap was just terrible. It was not a great invention that I came up with. Um, I might use it in the future, but I have no idea. It works to protect it for sure. And it looks pretty, but then when you put the Kindle in it, it just does not look right. I don't know. Underneath this, wow, we've got a mess of yarn. Yarn and felt is a big part of my craft stuff. But I have my other cart handy so I can toss stuff in there as I go. Why do I have a band-aid in here and a loose needle? That's really not good, Becca. This is some Halloween DIY stuff I was working on. I was working on making the phrase, it's freaking bats. You know, like the, the meme of the little girl who says that? It's so cute. Anyway, so I started working on it and then I just abandoned ship for some reason. So I don't know what to do with this. Maybe I could put it in a little bag and put it with my fall decor because I think I needed to like print out more letters because I didn't have all the letters already printed. So I just like abandoned the project, which is so annoying because these are extremely time consuming and like, I don't know why I would get this far and stop. I'm so annoying. We have some practice granny squares, which like I honestly do not need to keep because these look bad. Oh my gosh, I have so many of these like different color squares because I was planning on, for the longest time, I was planning on making a little cardigan out of them and then I never did. I don't know if I should still do it. Like maybe I should just make a scarf and then like call it a day but I have so many of them. And you know what? I'm actually gonna put them in this Ziploc bag just so that they're all together. But I do need to do something with those because they've been sitting just like in my stash for a really long time, haunting me. I think probably two or more years. This is in here because I was referencing this when I was making my own <laughs> and I was wondering where it went. So anyway, now that I know where this is, I can go put it somewhere. Start putting like good skeins in here. I said that I have a lot of yarn, but I feel like that's very relative. I don't probably have all that much compared to many other <laughs> artists who do this kind of thing. Ooh, here is a knit practice. I really liked the way that it looked. I'm actually quite proud of how good these stitches turned out. I'm just gonna toss it. After I emptied out that bin, I got really distracted because my camera died and both of my batteries were dead, which doesn't usually happen. But anyway, I brought the, the squares, the crochet squares out here because I'm so sick, as I mentioned, of this being an unfinished project. And I decided I'm just gonna turn it into a scarf rather than a cardigan because I'd have to make more of them to make a cardigan. And I just am not, <laughs> I'm not gonna do that because I've been working on this for way too long. So I decided I'm just gonna do the same pattern I originally planned, but in the form of a scarf. And I love scarves. They're very helpful, obviously, in my climate. I tried to join the seams together with my sewing machine. If you crochet a lot, please don't come for me for saying that. It didn't really work, so I'm not gonna continue, but I mean, it, it got them together, but I don't know. I don't feel like it looks very good. So I'm definitely going to just join them with like a needle and yarn. I think that it'll be relatively easy. I, I hope it doesn't take too long. We'll just have to see. It'll be an evening project I'll work on over the next like week or two. I am spending a lot of time like watching movies because it has been so dark. Although today 
as you can see it's super sunny like the sun will just randomly come out after being gone under like extremely heavy cloud cover for like weeks i'm like okay well welcome here comes the sun i guess i feel like i'm kind of at like a stopping point with organizing the craft supplies i feel like i have most everything organized i mean that i have found so far this closet needs a lot of help but i do feel like i'm not going to be able to do too much in here until we move all of our clothes out because i was thinking i'd really like to figure out a different solution for my patterns because i have a lot of patterns and for a while they fit in this crate here but they don't anymore so i kind of just set the crate on top of my roller cart i need to figure out i think like a hanging system for them i think in the closet we'll, we'll just have to see that's going to be another section of this video but for now we're going to leave this section of the video at that but well hold on i'm going to show you what i did because while my camera was dead i did actually do things so i put all of my felt in here and it it's a little or unorganized as it is but it's all in here and if i want i can just pull out this entire bin and look through all the colors and see you know what i want and then underneath that i didn't do anything with this this is still as it was and then my cricket bin and i found more cricket like supplies so i put those in here and then i have all of my yarn and which is actually not as much as i thought i do have like five skeins that i got in a kit that i haven't made yet but that's not going to fit in here and it's in its own bag already so then i put some um needles in here i have some like more circular needles that i got thrifting that i forgot about they were in the bottom of that bin over there and then i have some other just like loose needles and crochet hooks that i have in here underneath that in the last drawer is my paint supplies and my fine art supplies and then the giveaway box i feel pretty good about that i think that i have a good system and as i find more supplies as i'm cleaning out this closet i will definitely organize them and show you the process but yeah for now i'm going to pause on this because i am going to be working on the closet situation and that will just help clear this closet out so that i have like the brain space to actually do things because i have a chest in there that has stuff in it but i can't even get to the chest because there's so many clothes in there so it's just gonna have to wait so i will see you guys in a second for you but maybe a little while for me <laughs> welcome back to my disaster of a space i now have vacuum bags which i asked on a video on my main channel when i was talking about organization how people store like blankets and pillows and all that extra stuff and a bunch of people said vacuum bags so i ordered some and they're here i have eight jumbo bags so this will be interesting i've never used these before so i have honestly no idea what to expect but i'm confident it'll be pretty user friendly this is the little pump everyone online said that the pump doesn't really work and just to use like a vacuum or something i have a shop vac i can use um but i also have like a dyson i don't know if you're supposed to use like that kind of vacuum for this oh yeah that's pretty big <laughs> that is quite large so i think i'm gonna do like pillows in one and then blankets in another just to keep things i don't know organized that helps a lot that was way faster than the pump now i for some reason in my mind i was like oh i'm gonna be able to put these bags in a like short storage bin but this is gonna have to go in a big storage bin which is fine i can just put that in the top of my closet as well because if you didn't know i just redid my closet the video is up on my channel and i really wanted to do that because well first of all i didn't have any closet situation because it all fell down but i wanted to have space on top so that i could put stuff like this in it but then again sealed in a bag 
I might be able to put these in a storage bin and then like put it in the garage or maybe I could even just put it in this closet over here. I don't really know, but I'm just happy that it's now like compact and not this huge thing. So anyway, there is that one. And honestly, I think I might only have to use two of these. Like I kind of wish that I got a variety pack of sizes because these are really, really big. And I just don't think I'm gonna use eight jumbo size ones. Like I really, really <laughs> overestimated how much I would need. But you know what? They will come in handy and I don't have to fill them up all the way. Like if I needed to, I could just make smaller ones. This one is going to be blankets. And blankets are definitely more of the burden here. This is like a, a full on duvet. So this definitely comes in handy when we use like our queen size air mattress. But other than that, it's just taking up literally so much space. Okay, and the next blanket that takes up a lot of space is this one. It's really nice for winter. You know what? I'm having a guest this weekend. And I might actually leave this out for her because this room gets kind of cold. So see, you know, we use them. <laughs> All right, I just have like other throw blankets that we bring out like various times of the year. Okay, second bag done this is so much more compact I, I keep having thoughts in my head that's like well it's not that much more compact like was this worth it I think it was <laughs> I just need to remind myself that it was because this is significantly smaller than what it was and it's like compact it's in a bag yeah I'm just I don't know why I'm having a hard time justifying this I literally I don't know why I guess because it's not like this big <laughs> <laughs> which it was never gonna be this big. It was always gonna be somewhere along this line. Okay, basically everything that's left on my desk is like, sorry, I really don't wanna change the camera angle, so I'm being kind of weird. Like, look, I feel weird looking up at the camera like this, but um, <laughs> all that I have left up there is like sheet sets, and I have a different plan for sheet sets, I think. I think, like I wanna have a basket for like full and queen size sheets and then a basket for king size sheets. And a lot of the time I use king size sheets on our queen bed because our, our bed down here is a queen. And like, it, sometimes it looks a little funny, like the, the sheets definitely look like a little loose, but I every time I try to put queen size sheets on it, it doesn't fit the mattress. So I'm like, what's going on? And it's just like one of those box mattresses from Walmart, which like I slept on it a couple months ago when we were getting the floors replaced upstairs. And like everyone who's ever slept on it is like, oh, that bed is so comfortable, I love it. And I slept on it like with high expectations. And I was like, oh my God, this bed sucks. <laughs> it's very, very firm. Uh, like it has like a little bit of give but like it's pretty firm and like not in like a springy firm but maybe more like a foam firm like I don't really know it's not a foam mattress it has like springs in it but and probably some foam too but anyway I just don't like super firm mattresses our, our mattress upstairs is literally perfect for me I never want to get rid of it but yeah it was kind of super uncomfortable but other people have loved it so I thought about after that getting a mattress topper because I was like this bed is terrible but I don't know I'm gonna talk with my friend because she's young <laughs> and I'm gonna ask her like is this a comfortable bed and ask her to be honest with me if not because I can go buy a mattress topper because anyone who's like you know my parents age or older has loved it but as far as a young person I don't know how comfortable it is but anyway I'm gonna stop laying out like a French girl who's being painted and I have one more bag of blankets that I'm going to try to get into. well I know that I'll be able to get it into here one second here's a pro tip that I've been doing for a while this is just one of those bags that like a blanket set came in and I kept it for so long to just like hold blankets and stuff and it was great for when I had like this amount of blankets but now I just have so many blankets and like our families are giving us all of our stuff from when we were younger <laughs> particularly when we moved to this house my parents were like take all your kids stuff and Daniel's mom is doing the same thing now that we're like living closer to them it's just like we got a lot of our kids stuff so this is like a lot of like baby blankets and things like that let's see what we can do I saw this organizer for sheets on uh, TikTok and basically it like 
folds them into a box situation. I think that they're pretty expensive. Like somebody in the comments was like, nah, not for $40 or something like that. I didn't even look into it after that because I was like, oh, 40 bucks for that, like no way. But I don't know if it was 40 bucks for like a set of four, 40 bucks for one. So I'm probably gonna look into that because we do, again, have so many sheets that I'm always forgetting about. And like, I just keep finding them tucked into random places and I just, I need them to all be in one place. in there like lengthwise or I guess widthwise and I had a spot in the closet that was dedicated to these like to this bag so maybe I could still put it in this closet I don't really know but my plan was to put it upstairs but maybe I could put other stuff upstairs okay I'm so totally winded but I got this up there and you know what as I've been you know standing in this closet I found even more things that I need to put in a vacuum bag so I don't think that this is gonna work because I want all of the bags to be together. But this is nice, right? Like, it's cool that they all fit like that. Whereas only one of these bags fit into this before. Pretty cool, if I do say so myself. So I'm gonna do a few more bags or however many I can find. I'm just gonna walk around my house and see where I have extra pillows and blankets. Okay, so I was able to fill three more bags. And uh, is it three or two? It's two. <laughs> And I actually found the viral like linen folder thing and I'm very sad to announce that it is $40 each. So that is one set of sheets organized for $40, which I'm not going to do. But look at this, like look at how cool this is. This is what they look like when they're like all zipped up and basically you can just like put the sheet in it and it folds up really nicely. This is a video that I, this isn't the original video that I saw, but this is like how it works. You don't even have to fold anything. You can just like, well, you do kind of have to get it into that like narrow spot, but all you have to do is just zip it up. Like that is so nice. It's perfect, but they're $40 each. Like that's a lot of money that she has sitting there. And then look, she has like a bunch of these, like, oh my gosh. Not gonna happen for the average person, which is me. <laughs> So I normally just fold the sheets up and set them inside of a pillowcase of the sheet set so that I know like what's what. And I'm just gonna continue doing that because this was ridiculous. <laughs> I could definitely get like small vacuum seal bags, but every time I use them, I would have to reseal the bags and I just feel like I wouldn't do it. So I'm trying to, you know, come up with systems that make my life more organized, but also in a functional way because I do have my doubts about these vacuum bags, mostly because I feel like if I need something out of them, I'm gonna open up the vacuum bag and it's gonna take me weeks to close it back up, which is just an annoying thing, but I just know myself and I feel like that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna try really hard not to do that and to be better about closing them up after I have grabbed something out of it. So anyway, I... Uh, I'm just like honestly overwhelmed by this room still. Even after I did that, it really doesn't feel like, it really doesn't feel like I did anything. And I'm in the, what is it? Like disillusionment stage of organizing. Like it just feels like nothing that I've done has made any sort of difference. <sighs> yeah. And like normally when I clean this room, I just like shove everything in the closet and it's like suddenly clean again and it feels like really good. <laughs> but obviously that's not realistic. That's not like a sustainable way to organize your life. But I'm just a closet shover. And I have to say like, if you're watching this thinking that I'm a rock star, well, thank you, first of all. <laughs> I don't know if anybody's thinking that. But second of all, I just want you to know that I have put off doing this part two for a couple of weeks just because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I just have so much stuff and I have a really hard time letting go of things because what if I need it? Or it holds some like minimal sentimental value and I just can't picture myself getting rid of it. I'm really annoying. Like I annoy myself a lot in that way, but we gotta push through and we gotta keep moving and organizing. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I think I'm going to clean off this bed because that 
makes the room feel better just in and of itself. So this bed, it's a, it's a catch-all for like my sewing projects. Daniel's Nerf gun box is here. Um, he bought that for a work thing. And yeah, like there's just like a catch-all. There's been some like laundry on this bed because my closet was a disaster for a long time. So, and also my sewing patterns are just all over the place. I think that's the next thing that I need to figure out how to organize. And I honestly have no idea what to do. Like I currently have them in these bags, which I do like this. This has been a really great system for me because it keeps them all in one place. And this is like very compact, like that's, it's compact. Um, so I wouldn't wanna change that aspect of it, but like where I'm putting the Ziploc bags is another story. So I've been putting them in this basket and well, my iPad's in here for some reason, but yeah, I've been putting them in this basket, but uh, the basket's full. So I could go through and like get rid of patterns, but I just feel like patterns are so, see, here I go again. <laughs> patterns are so small and it's like not a big deal to store them. So I just keep them, like even if I'm not gonna make that project again. So I guess I can go through and like rule out things I'm definitely never gonna make again, or I could never see myself making again and throw it away. But other than that, like I feel like a lot of my patterns I would make again and I have enjoyed and it would be nice just to have the pattern. Maybe if someday I want to like, I don't know, combine it with another pattern because sometimes if you sew a lot of patterns, you're gonna be like, oh, I like the sleeves on this pattern, but the bodice on that one. And you can like combine and make like a, <laughs> I don't know, a Frankenstein's monster dress. So I want to keep a lot of the ones that I like, obviously. Well, I want to keep all the ones that I like. So I think what I've, what I've seen people do in the past is they have like pants hangers where they clip the patterns onto the pants hangers. I really like that idea, but oftentimes I see them have one pants hanger for each individual pattern and I would need like 50 pants hangers so that's not realistic but what I could do is break up the patterns into like pants dresses and tops I could clip multiple patterns on to the pants hangers and the only caveat in that would be anytime I want to use a pattern I'd have to unclip everything grab the pattern reclip it and put it back up which is not a big deal it's not but knowing me again with the vacuum bag thing I just have a feeling that I wouldn't reclip it and hang it up but I need to get out of the habit of just doing stuff like that like I don't know what it is like I think that's just about cleaning up after yourself is that cleaning up after yourself that I have issues with I think that's what it is <sighs> I don't know but um, okay, there's my honest moment, <laughs> my my vulnerable moment for anybody who thinks that I am like really killing it with this whole organizing thing. I don't feel like I am, I really don't. But I would like to finish up the pattern organization today and then the sheets and possibly do my desk because I do have the organizers for my little desk drawers. So I feel like that would be nice, just like a fun thing to do because that doesn't feel scary or like daunting to me, but like everything else that I just mentioned does. <laughs> so let's go through my patterns. So I was able to fit all of my patterns in this storage bin. This is not my favorite solution, but at the same time, I don't really I don't really like the idea of hanging them. I don't I don't know. I need to go buy the hangers in order to do it and I already have these. So maybe if I'm out someday and I remember, I will grab some pants hangers because even if I don't use them for the patterns, you know, Daniel could use them for his pants or of course there's always more pants that I could hang. But yeah, it's just not something that I have right now and I kind of wanted a solution that would make right now feel better. Now I'm going to figure out 
the sheets. Okay, it's been a few hours and I did some stuff off camera because I just wasn't feeling it. Like I was feeling a very negative headspace and I don't wanna bring other people down. <laughs> so uh, the sun has come out, which means naturally I'm feeling a lot better. Who knew? Um, but I have folded up all of the sheet sets that were in that room. I know that I have more. I know that I have more. We personally have, I think like, three to no probably like four sheet sets for our bed or just let's say king size so that i guess it'd be five or so king size bedding sheets and everything and two of which are only for the winter time so those will probably eventually go in one of those vacuum bags i think i'm gonna wait until like actual spring hits where it's like not that cold before i put all the flannel sheets away but i do think that we are out of flannel sheet season officially because it's like not that cold anymore okay point is <laughs> I have these long skinny bins. I've had these since I was a child. Like I had a lot of under the bed storage as a child and like as I've grown up, I've just slowly whittled away the stuff that was in these. And as I said before, I have a tendency to keep things. I've always been like this, but I slowly lose sentiment about things. So like I think once a year I would go through these bins and like get rid of more stuff or just like pare things down. So anyway, I think now I only have one left at this point, which I'll probably look through again soon and get rid of more stuff, but uh, that'll probably be in this series. I don't know if I'll film it, but that'll be something that I end up doing in this process. But this first one here, the top one is for our bedding. So you really can't fit much in here, especially with uh, king size things. So I have two duvet covers. I have our linen one from parachute home and then i have like a white one from i believe crate and barrel that was like the first one we ever got and then this um sheet set it's more christmasy but it's very cozy so uh so that's ours for our bed underneath that i have the other bin which is just sheets for our full size and queen size beds which i'm not going to access as often really only when we have guests which hasn't been that often lately like the holidays kind of we were at other people's houses so over the summers we tend to have a lot of people over but it's not something we're going to access as much so i think i'm just going to put this like up in the well they're both going to go up in the top shelf of my closet but i'm just going to see how annoying they are to retrieve because the king size one is kind of heavy so that one might actually just go underneath my closet like on the bottom on the floor because it's flat and like you're not gonna see it so i feel like that would be a better solution for the one that we're gonna use more often just to like save my back from having to lift it up and then bring it back down every single time um okay the last thing that i said that i wanted to do in this video was well i wanted to clean off the bed but i just don't know i don't know if i'm gonna get to it maybe i'll do that in the end credits <laughs> I don't know, but I would like to organize my desk so that I have uh, just like some semblance of organization in that. I have like pens and office supplies kind of all around the house, but there's certain things that like I want to have a spot. Like I have lots of phone cases because I work with Casetify. I'd like for those to have a spot. And then things like highlighters and stamps and just, I don't know, stuff like that. I honestly don't really know what's in this drawer. I haven't looked in it in a while. I've kind of just been like putting stuff in it. So we're gonna completely empty it out and then categorize everything and then get out my little containers and set them up in the empty drawer and then put everything back in. Here's everything. This is an old phone case and I don't think that this is gonna fit my current phone. I actually need to go through and look because I think that Apple made like the tiniest change on the phone so that the old cases wouldn't fit anymore. Yeah, like look, the camera is barely covered. So this is not gonna work. What phone did I have? Oh, this is, this is a 12 case. So I have a bunch of cases for the 12. Like this one I don't think is gonna work. How annoying is that? Oh my gosh. This one is particularly sad. This is like the first case to fight case that I ever bought. I'm so sad that it's not gonna fit. So I need to gather up all of those and maybe like make a post on Instagram or like ask my friends if they have a 12 because I really hate for those nice cases to go to waste. I can't use them for anything. This sticker I got from a local nursery. It says pollinators 
are my motivators and I really would like to put this somewhere, but I don't know what to put it on. Maybe just like a water bottle. That's usually what ends up happening with my stickers. And then we have a battery daddy, so I can put these batteries in there. And then I got some camera equipment that I'm just gonna put with my camera stuff. I probably need to have a more formal case for like my lenses and like my equipment. I don't currently have anything like that. I just have like a bowl that I have everything in, which is probably really cringy for people who are more into camera gear, sorry. <laughs> and then lots of pens and this is some tape. And then and for some reason I have another cleaning spray. Okay, the drawer organizers that I got, this is just from Amazon. I kind of measured and was kind of guessing what I thought would work. I ended up buying two of these, and I don't know if I'm gonna need both of them for this drawer, but I could also use them upstairs in my bathroom if I wanted. So I'm not too concerned if I don't use them all here. So I know for sure that I need a long one because I've got my pens. Oh my gosh, they fit perfectly. There's like only a small amount of give. Pens and like pencils. I don't know, I have these like colorful things. So maybe I'll do all my colorful pens together. This is an Apple Pencil dupe and it's really, really nice. Well, I don't know, I've never used the Apple Pencil, so I can't exactly say that it's like a good dupe, but it worked really well for me when I used it a lot. I'll see if I can find a link for this, if it's still <laughs> available. I bought it a really long time ago. I have like paper clips. Well, the safety pin doesn't need to go in there, but I have like paper clips and binder clips and I have these small, little things and rubber bands. So I'm thinking that I kind of want to combine it into this one, as you can see here, like kind of like a this vibe because the pens only take up a certain amount of space. And I wish that it fit better in there, but I think that's probably the best I'm gonna get. That's not terrible, right? I think that's pretty good. Okay, so here's where we ended up with my drawers. So I have pencils, pens, and markers. No, no, sorry, pencils and pens markers and then i have paper clips binder clips this washi tape and then this one is i don't know just like no cards and sticky notes this was i don't know if this is gonna stay here but it's a desk right like that seems like it makes sense and then this one is all my stamps and stuff like that um and then i have some cards oh the cards are underneath here so I'm ready to go whenever someone needs like a birthday card or something. I have a bunch and they're all in one place now because they have been kind of scattered around. So now they're all in one place. Here I have all my phone cases from Casetify. And then I have, this is, I don't know about this drawer. <laughs> this one I just kind of threw together, but um, I did end up opening the other package, but I knew that I wanted to have my cases in here. So I did that for sure. I have letters from my letter board. This is like a, triple plug. This will probably go somewhere else, but for now it's in here. And then these are some, uh, this is stationary for when I send out stickers because I do sell my logo sticker. And then this is a little tape dispenser. So that's what I've got. I've got this many left over and I'm probably going to bring these up to my bathroom and tackle that situation. Eventually that's not going to be anytime soon. It's gonna be a while before we get upstairs again, like after the closet situation. I have this basket filled with things that do not belong or I can't keep anymore, like all these phone pieces that no longer fit my phone. So I'm gonna probably like put together some stuff and like give them away because they're so pretty and very gently used because I have so many, I switch them out so often. Um, I have a reading light. Just basically this is a bin of things that I need to distribute in other parts of my house and they don't belong in the desk. So I put them in here for now. That is where we're leaving off. So I hope that you enjoyed another organizing vlog where I take you through <laughs> organizing another part of my life. I feel like um, this one wasn't as fun. It didn't feel like as big of an impact because there's just so much stuff in here and so much going on, but I know that it is gonna make a big impact in the end. I think that I need like one more video in here and like a really big trip to a thrift store and the trash because there's a lot of trash in here too. But I feel like once I start clearing things out, it's gonna feel a lot better too because right now I've like organized things but they're still in the room and I need them to be gone. So probably the next one, we'll finish up this room, tackle the closet of doom, like the closet of doom, you know the one. <laughs> 
And then we'll be able to move on to probably my kitchen, which should be more fun. Honestly, the kitchen is like way more fun than all of this random crap that I just keep over years and years and years. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked this episode, I had a episode one that went out a couple weeks ago that was more craft inspired, like definitely way more craft supplies. And then um, an episode two-ish where I did my closet. I did a custom closet upstairs in my bedroom. So we are making progress slowly but surely. And I'm really happy to bring you along on this journey. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.